that? Mmm, yeah. Dead. Oh, those ragdoll physics are nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Master Chief, you are looking so hot. Ugh. Ooh, that death moan sounds nice. So, Halo 3 Beta has given us a glimpse of what we'll probably see in September. Graphics-wise, it looks like Halo 2, but enhanced lighting and textures. I do want to point out, the water looks like water. I mean, look at it. It's insane. Another thing that looks great is the snow and the footprints left behind. Nice touches that add to the experience. Now the gameplay is pretty much the same as the previous games. Makes sense, because if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know? Just add to it. And that's what they did. They've added things like a bubble shield, they create a temporary zone for the player. There's a gravity lift that use that's pretty useful to get to hard to reach places. There's a power drainer, which uh, drains the power shields if you're within a certain radius of it. Boom, everything's gone. Now for the guns. We got all the stuff we've seen before, you know, plasma pistol, sniper rifle, shotgun. But, there's some new instruments of death. First, we get the Spartan laser. It takes a few seconds to charge, but when you, when you charge it and you use it right, it releases enough power to destroy uh, these machine object things. You can kill other players as well, but not when you miss due to overdose of excitement. Spiker is the brute version of the SMG. Not very accurate and doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Do wielding this thing is the way you gotta go if you wanna kill anyone. There's a few other cool things like removing the turret from the tripod, using the missile pod. Oh yeah, vehicles. We still got the usual ghost, banshee, warthog. They all look a little nicer, but we got the mongoose. Mongoose doesn't have any guns, but we can do is carry another passenger. Just like sitting in the passenger seat of the Warthog, they can shoot. So far it still feels like Halo 2. It's a Halo game, so you can't complain, but it doesn't seem like they took too many risks. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, come September, what they're gonna do.